Hello everybody, this is Brandon Lewis, 1495 Sports in Deer Park, Long Island for ICW, that's Impact Championship Wrestling, and by my side right now is a legend. I don't think I've spoken to many people that hold a victory over Hulk Hogan, and that is the genius Lenny Poffo. Yo soy el genio, Viera y Toga. I'm sorry, I really, uh, okay, Los Estados Unidos. Okay, my name is Lanny Poffo, and it is a pleasure to be on your show. I'm a big fan. Oh, thank you very much. I'm a fan of yours. Really? Yeah, yeah, from... Uh, Wait a minute, how old are you? Oh, I'm 30. Impossible. You could have not known who I was. Here, this is when I was a jabroni. Uh, let's show this. Leaping Lenny. When That's... he tossed frisbees with po poems on them. I remember that. Really? Yes, I do. But you're 30 annuals. Yes, very much so. Okay, so in other words, go on GeniusLannyPoffo.com and you can learn how to get this book and the other one I wrote about, No Fumar. Okay, but let me tell you what, it was an honor for me to come down here and have people actually remember who I used to be. Wait, wait, used to be? I saw you finish the match victorious with a moonsault from the second rope. But I think it's just like Terry Funk. I'm going to call it my final match. I keep quitting and they keep bringing me back in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope to see you more often. I hope to see you again. You got high hopes, man. <laughs> what is your name again? I'm Brandon Lewis. I'm, a, I'm familiar with that. Yes, I'm a big fan. Well, let me tell you what. I speak 11 languages. Escuchen, por favor. Santana comes from Mexico. You hablo más mejor. The French I speak is magnifique. They told me in Paris. My Italian's molto bene. I learned when I was three. I speak Latin, Greek, and Russian, Hebrew, and Portuguese. I speak Swedish and Norwegian, and I'm learning Japanese. Aside from my intelligence, I'm cunning as a rat, and I shall put these attributes to use upon the map. I remind the competition and every foreign fan, behold, the world's greatest genius, the world's smartest man. Muy inteligente, hmm? very much. Thank you so much for, for sharing your poetry. Is it over? Yeah, I, I, I don't know how to top that. I think it's, we gotta end it right there with some poetry, some culture. 1495 Sports, you just got cultured by the genius Lenny Poffo. Hold on, hold it. Do we do other sports on this show? Yes, uh, not me, I don't. But, but uh, we do have people like Brad who's out there. Brad, how you doing? And uh, yeah, we cover lacrosse, baseball. baseball, we cover baseball. Okay, lacrosse. I was honored in 1993 I did a poem for Ted Williams. May I do it? Okay. Sure, go ahead. Through all of the magnificence that is Joe Robbie Stadium, the Marlins and the Dolphins' happy home, it gives me pride to introduce a man who was to baseball, what Romulus and Remus were to Rome. Take 95 until you hit the Massachusetts Turnpike. Get off at Fenway Park and there you are. Where back in 1941, this man hit 406. And even now, Ted Williams has no par. America anticipated every turn at bat to watch him knock the ball to smithereens. 521 home runs are even more incredible because he gave five years to the Marines. The boys who wrote the sports page never did him any favors, but for Cooperstown, they had to tell the truth. That Theodore Samuel Williams brought a splendor to the game, reminiscent of the late George Herman Ruth. And he grabs me and he starts crying and he says, if I'd have had you for a press agent, I'd have never had any problems. <laughs> That's awesome. That was my moment with Ted Williams. And, and that's uh, one of, is that one of the poems that's in the book? It's not in the book. It's not in the and book. And I don't even have a picture of it. But it exists now only in my memory. And the book now, once again, what's it called? This Leap and Lenny, R Wrestling with Rhyme. And the other one, Limericks from the Heart and Lungs. Um, Jose dreamed of being a star. He played, he sang and he played the guitar. But he made a choice that ruined his voice. If only he'd said, no fumar. Thank you once again, Lenny. Pleasure.